Welcome back to the Gents Lounge. We're here with Mishka again. Re literally the reason I like gin. And today we're gonna do a gin cocktail called the Gin Gimlet. All right, so let's get started. Uh, gin Gimlet is a pretty classic drink. Um, it's one of my favorites. Uh, a lot of people don't realize they like gin until they have this cocktail. I was uh, one of those people. Literally, he's like, let me make you a gin cocktail. And I was like, gin is not my drink, sir. <laughs> I have yet to have gin. Oh. So this is my first time. So gin we'll be ever? Ever. All right. You just, just assume you don't like it? Oh, well, I've had it, but cheap gin. Just pine trees. And <laughs> Tastes like Christmas, right? Yeah. Uh, there's a lot more to gin than that. It's a very simple cocktail. It's uh, gin, uh, lime juice, and simple syrup. Really easy to make. Just three. Three ingredients. Wow. That's all it takes. Um, but when you're using fresh limes, you make gin taste good. Yeah, right. So write that down. <laughs> <laughs> when you're using fresh limes, it uh, it really really opens things up. So none of that bottled concentrate crap. This is the stuff you wanna. This is the stuff you wanna do. You wanna get your hand squeezer, juice into your into your shape your cheater tin. Though it is cheating and not acceptable, if you are that lazy, is it okay? Uh, nobody's gonna blame you for it, but your cocktails are gonna suck. Yeah. So, yeah, go the extra mile. Go to the grocery store get for like workout. two seconds. Yeah, get a little bit of a workout. Squeeze... That forearm right there. Yeah. <laughs> Squeeze your limes in there, you know, get, uh, get it going. So you want to get a, an ounce of lime juice. So we pour an ounce of lime juice into our cheater tin. Okay. Now we're going to take our one and a half and three quarter jigger. We're gonna use three quarters of simple syrup. Now a good cocktail rule is for every one ounce of lime juice, three quarters of simple syrup will always work. So pour that into your cheater tin. Then you're gonna take this lovely Aviation American gin. It's good stuff. So we're gonna use two ounces of, uh, of this gin. You know, it's not too botanical, but it's still got some juniper notes. Um, it's got some citrus notes in there too, and it's got a really clear nose. It's really tasty. It? Yeah, absolutely, please. So it's two ounces of gin, three quarter ounce simple syrup, one ounce of lime. Yeah. And that's and that's it. That's, that's a, all that's you That's a gimlet. Have. Yeah, that is a gin gimlet. So you fill up your cheater tin with some ice, and you're gonna take the big, big part of your shaker and you're gonna give it a nice, ooh, a little, nice little slam so that it locks up. And that way you know you're not spilling any of the cocktail. Now when you shake your cocktail, you're gonna wanna be really aggressive with it. <laughs> Nice little shake. Dump out the rest into the big tins. Make sure you get all of it. Taking my Hawthorne strainer, putting it in, into the big tin. And then I personally like to use this fine strainer. It's not essential, but it's uh, definitely a nice Personal touch. Personal preference, you said. Yes, yeah. absolutely. It's supposed to be up, huh? Yeah, it's supposed to be up. But it's just as good over our rock. You know, it's a good cocktail. Could you explain what up means? Up means it's uh, like a martini would be up. Okay. You know, no ice. It just means chilled. But shaken with ice. Yeah, shake or stirred. Well, martini stirred, and then uh, unless you're James yeah, Bond. Yeah, yeah. Unless you're James Bond. Unless you're James Bond. We're gonna cut our nice little garnish out of our lime and have a wheel, and this is our gin gimlet. Learn how to love gin. Yeah. Enjoy. This is, this is how you love gin. I've also heard gin is the alcoholic's liquor. <laughs> This is delicious. It's like refreshing. Yeah, it's really easy to drink. And there's two ounces of liquor in there, so it's just as strong as an old fashioned. Wow, so this would be good for a lady friend also. For, for ladies, for you know a hot summer day, it depends on the context. I like to drink these in springtime. Uh, you know, they're really tasty. Um, and like this is a good basic cocktail to learn because you can make so many other cocktails by adding and subtracting some ingredients. So Mishka just made the gin gimlet for us. That's uh another one of the three cocktails that we think should be in our home bar essentials and along with the old fashioned and the sidecar which you can click links around here and they will be there so you can learn how to make those and uh, be sure to subscribe like comment below try to make this at home let us know what you think if you like gin if you don't like gin if you like gin after you try this drink you will <laughs> <laughs> you promise. you've heard it you promise. <laughs>